Hi, I'm Todd Barron, and I'm a professor of medicine in the Division of Gastroenterology and Hepatology at the Mayo Clinic. And today I'm going to discuss a paper that we recently published in Clinical Gastroenterology and Hepatology. So the title is Short 5 French versus Long 3 French Pancreatic Stints in High Risk Patients for Prevention of Post ERCP Pancreatitis. The main reason to do this study was to evaluate whether or not long length pancreatic stents in a smaller diameter are better than short length pancreatic stents. The placement of pancreatic stents for short term or so-called prophylactic pancreatic duct stents can prevent pancreatitis in patients who are at high risk for the development of post ERCP pancreatitis. And those types of patients are well known based on past studies. So patients who have suspected or known sphincter of otity dysfunction, patients who have had pre-cut biliary sphincterotomy, uh, patients who have had resection of an ampullary tumor or an ampullary adenoma are at high risk for pancreatitis. Now, several years ago, a study came out that suggested that a smaller diameter, three French pancreatic stent, uh, but with a long length, approximately eight centimeters or more, was better in all respects than five French pancreatic stents. And those respects were spontaneous migration rate, meaning that it passed without having it, a need for going back to do another endoscopy to take it out, and a lower rate of overall pancreatitis. However, this was a retrospective study, and we had been placing five French stents for a number of years for prevention of pancreatitis. So we felt that we should study this prospectively comparing the two types of stents, the five French versus the three French. So what we did is we randomized 249 patients to receive either the five French straight short pancreatic stent or the three French long pancreatic stent. Our endpoint of the study was spontaneous dislodgement of the stent at two weeks. So what we did is we got an abdominal x-ray at approximately three days after the stent was placed, another one at approximately a week after it was placed, and another one at two weeks after the stent was placed. If the stent did not pass by two weeks, then an endoscopy was performed to remove the stent. And what we found was that in the five French group, the stent spontaneously passed 98% of the time as opposed to 88% of the time in the three French stent group, which was a little bit surprising. That means that you can save the patient an additional procedure because you don't have to go back and remove the stent. So about a 10% difference. The thing that we were slightly surprised about was that there was a lower pancreatitis rate in the five French group as compared to the three French group. We're not sure why that is. We think that part of the reason was is that like most gastroenterologists, we use uh, 035 inch guide wires as our standard guide wire. Unfortunately, to place a three French stent, you have to change to an 018 guide wire, or smaller diameter guide wire. And it may be having to specifically change out guide wires uh, to do the case, may have, may have resulted in more manipulation inside the pancreas and a higher rate of pancreatitis. Now, this difference in pancreatitis was not statistically significant, though we probably were underpowered. Uh, in other words, we didn't enroll enough patients in the study to prove that point, but that was not our primary endpoint. So we were powered enough, in other words, our sample size was high enough to detect a difference in spontaneous migration rate, but probably not large enough to detect a difference in statistically significant pancreatitis. Nonetheless, we think that the difference was clinically significant and um, another reason to use uh, the five French short pancreatic stents. So in conclusion, in this study, we found that five French pancreatic stents with a three centimeter length were superior to three French stents of a length of eight centimeters or more in spontaneous dislodgement and therefore a significant reduction for need for another endoscopic procedure.